in the form of distractions in the We thank you because what you say you will do is exactly what you do. Oh, we thank you for our lives and we thank you for today. We thank you that today is the day two of our revival. Indeed, it is your grace that has kept us moving. We are grateful, Father. We appreciate it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this gathering, Holy Spirit. We declare by divine authority that let your presence be felt. We declare by divine authority that let even the sick be healed. We declare by divine authority that as the word will come forth, O oh God, let somebody be transformed. Let somebody be impacted in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus and I declare Holy Spirit, give somebody another chance to re write their story. Give somebody another chance to make things right once more. In the name of Jesus, Father, we commit even the speaker in your hands. We declare Holy Spirit, uh, speak through him, O oh God. It's just an empty vessel. Fill him to the brain. The message, the word you have for us, let him speak exactly that. Undiluted word of God, let his message touch life, let it transform life and give you glory in the name of Jesus. Father, even we speak to the internet, we declare stability right now. God, anyone that is supposed to join this meeting, we pray that let your hand touch them now and remind them to be here. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for a successful God with because you are God. And you never fail. We worship you. We magnify you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, I welcome you all once again to this month's revival. Yesterday was really great by the grace of God. We had Dr. Ines Bona from the U.S. with us. And he indeed fed us with the word of God. Today we have another servant of God with us, Pastor Richmond. That day he is in home and he's going to take us through tonight. Before then, we would have a moment of worship. But I think because of the internet, our singer just went off. Uh, so while we wait for her and our speaker. We would like to take testimonies. Or if there is any thanks within anyone who wants to give unto the Lord while we wait for the singer. We would like to use this opportunity to do that. You want to give testimony to God. Amen. <laughs> so are we together? Well, we are a lot online, but I'm the only yes. one. And my wife. Looks like the, the revival is for I and my wife. 
He's the only one responding. Why are you people doing this? If you are here, you want to pray. That is why you are here. Please. Yeah. Okay, respond. Respond. There is blessing in that one too. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Um, Amen. Hello. Thank you very much for the opportunity to testify to the goodness of God. Uh, I'm Alex, and uh, I want to thank God so much for the life of my wife. Mm. Uh, I think last, or oh, it's the last two. Uh, uh, let me put it this way. I think last two uh, that should yes, I think that should be last two uh the same. Revival. Revival, yes, sure. Thank you so much, sir. Last two revival, uh I lodged by a complaint to the minister by then uh, about my wife going through an issue uh, with regards to her, her feet. And uh the, the minister gave uh, a direction and uh, by God's grace, we, we apply it in faith and uh, uh, to the glory of God, we, we saw uh, the mighty hand of God. As I speak now, my wife's uh, feet is more than, I don't know how to even describe it. She is healed to the glory of God. She is healed to the glory of God. I just want to thank God so much for everything that he has done. Indeed, he's faithful and uh, he, he, he deserves all our praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for the life of our brother. And we pray in the name of Jesus that that women is healed with the blood. In Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, Amen. our singer is on, so we will go into the kind of worship. You want to connect yourself with you know, she is singing, she is just doing the singing, okay? She's just the lifting them, but you have to be in that same spirit. Amen. 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 Okay, you can take over. Where should we? Good evening, everybody. So, so in the same Good spirit, evening. we'll go ahead and speak in the language of the spirit and give God all the glory, all the honor. We give praise to God for great testimonies in our lives. We honor and adore him for there is none like him. More testimonies will he give us because he's a great God and a great king. Yes. Indeed, he's mighty and glorious. Go ahead and speak in the language of the Spirit and worship him this night. Father, we give you all the glory, we honor and adore you, for there is none like you. Marido Shakatala Brandini Bosnite, Makabala Mosna, Ikara Doski Labon, Bashum Kalabaha, Galabashadaba. Indeed, the Lord is gracious and he's kind. He's faithful and he's gracious. Maradonsi Kabasho Kadadao Legosi Aridonga Ikapali Sheka Talabrandaba Lekabashadaba Shadaba Salabadaba Lekadaba Hongi Legonte Ikabalonsa Rekata Ponta La Konza Liakata. We give you all the praise of God. We are my God. My great King, you are a great God. Mantele Gibo Shadaba Sultan. 
And there is none holy as the Lord. There is none beside thee. Neither is there any other like a God. There is none holy as the Lord. Join in and sing tonight. There is none holy as the God. There is none beside thee. And neither is there any other world like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. Oh, neither is there any other rock like our God. There is none holy as the Lord. From the depths of your heart, think there is none holy as the Lord. Mm. I worship Holy as the Lord, it's a mighty warrior, his grave, powerful Jehovah is your name.
Almighty warrior, great in the battle, Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, you are great
Maya. I'll be mention of your name. Every name my father. I'll be mention of your name. Every time I must confess that you are the covenant, keep me care. There is no one like you. Your name is Elohim. Your name is Messiah. You are the covenant, keep me care. There is no one like him. Amen. Oh, amen. Amen. Wow. Today, today is an amazing day. It, it's interesting. Uh, the speaker to is off. Is is internet couldn't connect <clears throat> okay so i've i've put i've stopped the facebook live yeah because what we are doing is a bit embarrassing yes the world is watching it doesn't speak well of god not even us so now i don't know what to do yeah okay it's, it's, it's connecting all right it's on now okay so if you can hear me you can take over please if the net is okay hello hello hi yes. hi hello good evening everyone good evening good. Um, good evening to those who are in China. Uh, okay, good. Is it good morning? Good morning to those who are in China. Good evening here in Ghana. Well, it's, it's been a, a difficult moment trying to connect with four devices here with different networks trying to connect that. Uh, it's just not going well. But I think for now we have a little stable network, so we're going to proceed. Yes. Proceed from here. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Help me. Let's 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 enter into a moment of worship. Just a few minutes, then we zoom into our message. Our message for for the night. Um. We thank you. Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Lord. We thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you Oh, 
Gracious Lord, we thank you this moment. We thank you that we are here once again to feed. That we are here once again to receive impartation. That we are here once again to receive a word from you. That we are here once again to receive your glory. Father, we pray that this moment, Lord, your angels will descend. We pray that this moment, O oh Lord, your spirit will descend and teach Man. our hearts and teach our mind. Father, we pray this evening here in Ghana, I declare less of me and more of the spirit. I declare Man. less of me and let the spirit take me under the name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I want to talk on a topic, another chance. Another chance. But permit me to, to go a little off the topic, go a little off the, the title of the message. Beloved, when we say another chance, or when we say another, it means that there was something that was before. There was a chance before. There, there was an opportunity before. But because of something, the opportunity could not materialize what is supposed to give us. Or because of some forces, we could not get hold of the opportunity. Because of something, we could not take hold of the chance. Another chance nullifies the first chance. When there is another chance, it nullifies the first chance. It takes away the first chance. The Bible says that, and the first Adam was slain, but the second Adam was a quickening spirit. The first Adam was given a chance. But now when the second one came, he is a quickening spirit. The first Adam couldn't, couldn't execute, couldn't execute the mandate, the, the opportunity given him, he couldn't execute it. So he lost. And make sure he accomplished the task. Do you know what am I talking about? We all know about the story of creation. Man was given an opportunity <laughs> to subdue the earth, to enjoy everything that God has given us to us. To subdue. 
The man lost the chance because of what? Because of disobedience. And since then, since then, since then, suffering entered the world. Entered the world. So the first chance was lost. The first chance was lost. And, and, and now another chance was given up to us. And that is Jesus Christ was given up to us. Jesus Christ. Mm. And the Bible says no one can come unto the Father except through him. Jesus Christ, we the second Adam was given to us. That is the second chance that was given up to us. So in the first chance, we couldn't make it. The second one, we need to take hold of it. You can never succeed. You can never enjoy this life. You can never enjoy this life without taking hold of Jesus Christ. Right. This evening, I bring Jesus Christ to you. That is the second chance. That is the second path that you need not to allow it to pass you by. And if you are or not on that train, you are missing a lot. If you are not on the train, Jesus Christ. If you are not on the train, Jesus Christ, the second chance, Jesus Christ, that you are missing something in life. You are missing something in life. Yes, there is another chance, but don't put all your hopes on another chance. For example, when giving an opportunity, when giving an opportunity. So, of us, when we look at a first chance, we misuse it, thinking that another chance will come. By the wedding, another chance. Somebody will say, tomorrow come, or there will be another chance. Tomorrow I'll change. You are doing something bad, but you are telling yourself that tomorrow I'll change. Tomorrow I'll change. Do you know whether you receive the second chance? I keep on telling people that. Do you know something? We also, most people say, most Christians, no, even worldly people say that the world will not end today. The world will not end today. So, oh, I'll change tomorrow. Oh, the next day I'll change. Tuesday, he said he will change. Wednesday, he said he will change. Monday, I'll change. Friday, I'll change. Monday, I'll change. Friday, I'll change. This week, I'll change. Next week, I'll change. But you are not changing. Because you are thinking that another chance will be given to you. Do you know when the sun will come shining for you? Do you know when the sun will stop shining for you? And you know, the dangerous thing is that when the sun stops shining for you, too, eh, it can take several millions of years. You cannot do or undo the things you have done. So when an opportunity is given to you now, or when a second chance is given to you now, you need to grab it. 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 The second chance or another chance. What is given to you? You need to grab it. Tonight I see someone receiving another chance. Uh -huh. Tonight I see somebody receiving another opportunity to make something right, something that you fail to, to, to correct, you fail to make right because of some some depression in the family. Tonight it is my prayer that another chance will be given to you. Another chance. Another chance to make it right. Amen. To make it right. The second opportunity to make it right. To make it right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we'll go to the scripture very soon. I want to just, just narrate a story in the Bible about Judas. <coughs> Judas is Carol. And about Peter. The difference between Judas and Peter is that Judas couldn't get another chance. Hmm. Judas couldn't get another chance. But Peter had another chance. Uh, they all sinned. Judas sinned against Christ. Peter denied Jesus Christ. But ask yourself, why is it that Judas could not get another chance to make it right? But for Peter, he had another chance. Peter had another chance. See, there is another chance, all right, but it is not automatic that you benefit from it. So when you have the first chance, you must make it right. 
But when you are opportune or you are lucky to receive the second chance, you must make it right. You cannot be a fool for three times. You cannot keep being a fool. You cannot keep being a fool. You lost the first chance. And, and the second one, you want to lose it again. Why do you want to die? <laughs> are you okay? The second chance, there are people who, 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 who do some, some, some things, lost the first chance in the second chance. The second chance we have now is Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You lost the first one. The second one is Jesus Christ. And if you are not on the train, you are missing a lot. You are missing a lot. You are missing a lot. I have something written here. Ready? Remember, it is an appointed time. There is an appointed time for a man to die. And after death, judgment. After death, judgment. There is death waiting for everyone. But, 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 but the, the, the thing is that before you die, would you have made, is it like you, you, you make the second chance? Would you make something right? Would you make something right? Would you make something right? So that is why I, I, I said that, yes, you are wait, waiting for some chance. You are waiting for some chance. You lost the second one, third one, and you are expecting that the third one will come. Do you know whether the third one will come? The second one is in. Instead of you to grab it, you are waiting for, 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 for a second, a third one. A third one. Third one. You're waiting for a third one. Tonight, Jesus is saying that I stand at the door and I know. And if anyone hears my voice, let him open the door and I'll come in. He's ready to give the second chance. He's ready to give the second chance to you. And tonight, if you are under the authority of my voice, maybe you are born wrong some way, or maybe you have done something, something wrong. This is the second chance. This is the time for you to make it right. This is the time for you to make it right. God is interested in your end than your beginning. Mm. You don't understand. God is interested in your end and the beginning. See, the, the beginning he has already given. The end he knows. The process he has given to you. So, when you have the beginning, God is no more interested in the beginning. He is not interested in how you end. That's what the Bible says. And those that wait till the end shall receive what the crown of glory. Those that wait till the end shall receive the crown of glory. Your salvation is of importance. I swear you need to grab the second chance. Your salvation is of importance to God. Your salvation is of importance to your pastor. Your salvation is of importance to your parents. See, the greater thing the greatest thing for you to lose, or the, 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 the greatest thing Satan to do to you is not death. The greatest thing Satan can do to you is not death. If Satan kills you, oh, uh, if you're okay, you're going to heaven. If you have the second chance, if, if you actually take hold of the second chance, you are going to heaven. But what? The greatest thing is for Satan to take you away from the will of God. From the will of God. To take it away from the will of God. See, it is a point for a man to go this way. But, but, but Satan came to, to divert your attention to a different path. To a different path. To a different path. Satan came to divert your attention to a different path. But you must know that you need to grab a chance. You need to grab a second chance. You need to grab another chance. Don't, don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't just think that you are enjoying life. Don't just think that things are okay with you. Don't just think that the life you are living now is okay and, and, and it go towards the direct path. The right path for you is Jesus Christ. That is the second chance. Don't allow yourself to be diverted to another.
Ramadan to the left or to the to, to, to the right. Go straight according to the order of Jesus Christ. See, for, 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 for God has established a path for everyone. God established a path for everyone. Before we were created, see, for example, creation, God said, let them be this, let them be this, let them be this, let them be this. The same way, even you, he has established a process. He has established a will for you. That is why if it is not so, he will not tell Tell Jeremiah that even before you were born, I knew thee, and I have ordained you a prophet. You may have said that. So there is a path for us to go back because of some things, because of some, some, some relationship, because of things we hear from people, because of some, 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 some influences. We our paths are all diverted. Many of us are our paths are diverted by the enemy. What to the body concern, it's not the will of God. It's not the will of God. What happens it is the will of God that you go towards the path He chose for you. It is the will of God that you 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 go according to the the, the, the program He has written in heaven. But but sometimes happen when people are diverted. Some things happen when you yourself gets yourself diverted, gets your life diverted. What happens? What happens? See, see, and that is what happened in the Garden of Eden. See, it is seen that happened. It is seen. It is seen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is seen. Amen. But do you know something? No matter how far you have gone, <coughs> you know, no, no matter how your, your path has been diverted, no matter how long your diversion may have gone, there is a God that is ready to give the second chance. There is a power that is ready to, 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 to take you out from the, the diverted path to a new path. There's a second chance that is available for you. There's a second chance that is available for you. But it behoves on you to grab it. It behoves on you yeah. to take hold of it. It behoves on you to take that opportunity. You cannot lose it all. It you cannot lose it all. You cannot lose it all. A second chance. Or oh, another chance. You, you have gone wrong. Yes, fine, you have gone wrong. But just believe that. Yeah, it's another chance for you. Yeah, it's a, another chance to make it right. Yeah, it's another chance to pursue your goal. Yeah, it's another chance to pursue your vision. For the vision is for an appointed time. And the right person who speak, I will not lie. And yet the vision is there and it's there for the face. With the help of the second chance, with the help of God, you make it right. Amen. You make it right, sir. You make it right. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read the passage. Luke 15, 11 to 12. Luke chapter 15, 11 to 12. So 15, 11 to 12, and I read. So 15, 11 to 12. Jesus went on to say, there was once a man who had two sons. The younger one said to him, Father, give me my share of the property now. So the man divided his property between his two, his two sons, verse 13. After a few days, the younger son sold his part of the property and left home with the money. He went to the country far away where he wasted his money. A minute, a minute. Yeah, so after passage six, the church, 
tell him I'm chain. And he asked his father to, to divide his goods in the two. Why? It was because this man was influenced by something. This man was influenced by a worldly thing. See, the, 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 the worldly things and 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 and, 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 and the flesh and the spirit are affected to each other. Anytime you are thinking about the flesh, the spirit would leave. And at the time the spirit is alive with you, the flesh will leave. Hallelujah. Amen. So what happened is that this man saw the good things in the world, saw the life and the employment, saw the things, the influences from his friends. And he said, no, my father is having a lot of money. I need some money so that I can go ahead and enjoy life. I need some money so that I can go and, and have fun outside. I need some money so that I can be on my own. So his father said, okay, do not worry. I'm giving in your money, I'm giving your portion. So he took life into his own hands, forgetting about the will of God. Today, there are many people, by the influence of the world, they took life into their own hands. By the influence of society, by the influence of family, by the influence of people surrounding them, they took life into their own hands and they get off the path of Jesus Christ. They go off the path of Jesus Christ. Because of just a friend, you are no more called a Christian. A pastor, because of a small girl, your reverend title has been taken off. A minister, because of some anger, they have they have they have silenced you in the church because of what we think. Because of money in your office, you have been targeted, but that is not a vision of God for you. There is not a vision of God for you. Because of money, this guy's title, his, his, his title as a prince has changed to what? A prodigal son. Because of what? The world. Him. Because of money. Because of money. So he left into a father. How far could he have gone away from Jesus? That he will not remember you. How far could he have gone? into the world that he will not remember you so he, he has got to enjoy life he has got to enjoy pain he has going to enjoy riches until he realized that i am not making a mistake there is a time or there should be a time in your life where you make a new uh, you don't you don't understand there should be a time in your life where you make a new thing. You are going, you are going, and all of a sudden you realize that no, oh, I'm making a mistake. So you have to turn. If you know how to write, you understand what a new thing is. The guy made a new thing. He realized that where he was going. In, it's going to take him to destruction. Where he was going, it's going to take him to hell. You are listening to me. Just analyze your life. Conduct the research right now. And think about how it will lead you. It will lead you into the will of God. Will it lead you to the will of God? If not, take a your time for the second chance. Take a your time for another chance. Because it's available. The chance is available. It is available unto us all. It's available unto us all. It's available unto us. Yes, read on. From 17 down. From 17 down. I want to establish a point there. 17. Yes. At last, he came to his sense and said, All my father's hard workers have, have more than they can eat. And here I am about to start. Verse 18, I will get up and go to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against you, God, and against you. I have sinned against God and against you. Verse 19, I am no longer fit to be called your son. 
treat me as one of your high workers. Message 20. So he got up and started back to his father. He was still a long way from home when his father saw him. A minute. Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody here? Mm. Is somebody here? Yeah. I want to establish a point. You see, that God came to his senses. You see, even before the law, even before the law, God has created something in our heart called conscience. Mm. There is a song, generic dialect. Can I something, something. There's a song. Get the song for me. Before, before the, the law, the Ten Commandments, God has created something in our heart called conscience. And what you are doing wrong, your conscience is supposed to say, Hey, Jack, you are going the wrong way. Hey, Jack, what you are doing is wrong. Call conscience. But the Bible says that there are some people, their conscience doesn't work. So it's as if their conscience. Has been seared with a hot iron. Seared with a hot iron. So this young guy, at that moment when he, he took a U turn, his conscience was working. His conscience was working. And he told himself that I have seen. How many high servants are there in my father's house that have plenty? I have seen. I have gone the wrong way. Your conscience must come to life before you can you can understand another child. Your conscience must speak to you. But see, a dead conscience is something that will lead you to hell. A dead conscience. You see, the people that kill their conscience, it doesn't work. The people that steal their conscience don't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. You take people's wives, you take people's husbands, and you do it without, without your conscience. You do it without thinking. You still without thinking. You go the wrong way without using your mind. Your conscience. So his conscience came to life. Had it not been for his conscience, nobody spoke to him. Nobody went to him and said, hey, Jack, stop eating food from the pigs. Hey, Jack, your father is having a lot of money, so you need to go back to your father. No, his conscience spoke to him. So if you are a Christian, your conscience must also speak to you. Your conscience must also direct your path. Must direct your path. So when he decided to go back, he says that once he was far away, we read this passage a lot of the time, but most of most of us don't most of us don't really take this into consideration away far away his father spotted him that should tell you how expectant the father is how expectant the father is the father is always expecting his lost children to come back god is always expecting you to turn back to the second chance god is always expecting you to come back for a new opportunity. God is always expecting you to come back for the new grace. It's available. The grace is available. He is expecting you. He is expectant of you. The second chance is available. He wants you to grab it. He wants you to grab it. Oh, I'm 
If you have decided to follow Jesus, your conscience must be alert. If you have decided to follow Jesus, it means that you must make a U turn because the old life was nothing to write about, was nothing good to write about. So, after conducting an analysis of your life, you have been now decided to follow Christ. You have now decided to make a U turn because why you were going is <clears throat> death. I said earlier on that a dead conscience is a step closer to hell. Mm. A dead conscience is a step closer to hell. Mm. Because if your conscience is dead, you will do negative things, things that are not in the will of God, and you'll never know it. Okay. You'll never know it. You'll never know it. You'll never know it. Right. So, so this guy was far away, but his father spotted him. You see, God is love. God is love. No matter how far you have gone, no matter how long you have gone, no matter the wrong things you have done, no matter the life you might have lived, he is expecting you. The second chance is available. He is expecting you. He is expecting you to come back. He is expecting you to come back. Expecting to come back. So many people, many people, when they have gone far, 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 far into the into, into the wilderness, they tell themselves that no, I am not ready to come back. It was a fair feeling the prodigal son felt. And he told himself that, Oh father, just consider me as one of your servants, for I am not ready to be called a son. I'm not ready to be called a son. But to God, he still sees you like a son. Okay. It is now you have to make the opportunity, you have to make the choice. Yeah. It is now you have to decide. Yeah. It is now about tomorrow. Tomorrow may not be there for you. Tomorrow may not be there for you. So I always say, for me, for me, if, if, if knowing that I'll die today and go to heaven, ah, God, take my life, let me go to heaven. Let me go to heaven. Yeah. I belong to Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So so I was saying that no matter how far you have gone, God is still expecting you. Let's let's take the story of Peter. Uh, the story of Paul. Hallelujah. Amen. How far has he gone? Paul, Paul was a Paul was a criminal. Saul was a criminal. He, he's a thief. He's a killer. He he was a killer. He pursued Christ. He pursued, you see, while some the, the disciples were doing evangelism, Paul was doing crucifixion. <laughs> while the disciples were doing evangelism. Paul was doing crucifixion. He was looking for people to crucify. He was looking for the disciples to kill, to kill, to kill. He pursued Jesus until when he met Christ. 
So, so the Bible says on the way to Damascus, and the light struck him. He fell down. And he asked. And God said, why are you pursuing me? Why are you pursuing me? But this is somebody who has gone so far away from God. But do you know something? There is a second chance. A second chance was given to him. A second chance was given to him. God was so interested in him. That is why I said that. God is interested in how you went. How you went. So, so he said, the death of an unrighteous person does not please me. The death of an unrighteous person does not please him. God is interested in how you end it, how you end it. So Saul, so, uh, apart from all the things he has done, apart from all the distractions, all the things he has caused to the body of Christ, Christ was still, God was still interested in him. So even to himself, when he was giving testimony about himself, he said that even I, I rose to become an apostle. I, I so he did not even believe himself. That you become an apostle. No, no, no. No, no. But God will stay interested. Wherever you are standing now, the wrongs you have done, the things you have done, I don't know how far you have gone, but tonight the second chance is yet. Tonight the second chance is yet. To make it right, you have to decide. Now, 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 you have to decide. You have to decide now. To follow Christ with all your belongings, with all your things, you have to decide now. The second chance is here. Let's forget about the past. Let's forget about the old things. For the Bible says, and behold, all things have become new. The second chance is here for you. The second chance is here for you. God is watching from afar, expecting you, expecting you to change your mind. Expecting you to change your mind. Expecting you to change your mind. The prodigal son's father was expecting his son to change his mind. So when his son changed his mind, he forgot about all the wrong. He forgot about all the things. He forgot about all the money that he had given unto him. But he was happy. And even on top of it, he said, let's kill the father's car. Let's go to the father's house. There is a shepherd in the wilderness. Huh? Leading hundred, hundred flocks, hundred sheep, about hundred. And one got missing. And he left all the ones and went into the wilderness for the one that was missing. You have gone the wrong way. You are missing. Your path has, has been diverted. Your, your destiny has been diverted. Okay. Your future has been diverted. Okay. Your vision has been diverted. Okay. Your expectations have been diverted. Mm. Everything you need in life has been diverted. But the second chance is here. The second chance is here. And you have to make it right. The second chance is here for you. Oh, hallelujah. We can't go for the second chance. Amen. We can't go for the second chance. Amen. Now, when you receive the second chance, there are things you need to do. There are things you need to do. So, so things you must do when you, you are enjoying the second chance. You've lost the first chance. Now you are enjoying the second chance. There are things you have to do. And the second chance to you lose it. Mm. I want to unveil some, some things. Kali. Second chance you must no. renew your mind. Okay. The second chance you must renew your mind. Mm. Hallelujah. Romans 12 verse 2. It says, For do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may know what is perfect will, acceptable will of God. What is the will of God for your life? The will of God for your life is that, that you may end well. Yes. Amen. That you may end well. Ah, 
that you may end well. He says, I know that thought that I think towards you, thought of good, not of evil, but to give you an expected end. Mm. The will of God is for you to end well. Mm. So when you are enjoying the second chance, you need to renew your mind. Renewing your mind means you need to forget about the past. There are people that are enjoying second chance that they still think about the, the atrocities they have committed. They still think about the sins they have committed. This will draw you away. It will draw you away from the second chance. For, for, for God opened his, his hands. His arms are wide open. He said, come, come unto me. Come unto me. Come unto me. Come unto me. Hebrew 4, 16 says, 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 says that, 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 that uh, 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 um, come boldly that you may receive grace, favor, in time of need to help. In time of need to help. So his arms are wide open. So when you are enjoying the second chance and you are there for a second chance, you must change your mind. You must turn your mind towards the will, towards the purpose of God. You don't need to still be thinking about the past, the things you have done. Otherwise, you will not last. You will not last. You will not last. You will not last. The second thing you must do is to resist the devil. Okay. Yeah. To resist the devil. Amen. James 4, verse 7. James 4, verse 7. Read for me. Resist the devil. It's a command. You can't be enjoying a second chance and still be entertaining devil. You can't be enjoying it and still be entertaining devil. You see, you see, when a man changes from the evil things and, and now has taken hold of the second chance in the kingdom of, 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 of Satan, they will say, let us now go and take other stronger spirits to go and possess it. He says that let's now go and, and take other strong spirits so that we can go and possess him. So when you are enjoying a second chance, after, after taking away, maybe you were a prostitute, maybe you were a womanizer, maybe you, 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 you were a fornicator. And now God tries to do the wrong things. There are spirits that are backing it. There are spirits that are backing it. So when you're enjoying the second chance, you must resist the devil because they will come again. Yes, four, verse 7. So then, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. And he will run away from you. Amen. Amen. Resist the devil. It's a command. It's not, it's, it's not a request. It, it's a command, resist the devil, and he will flee, and he will flee. So don't come again. The thought will come again for the prodigal son to, to take some more money and go into the world and enjoy. The thought will come again. He will see the world, things that are happening in the world. He will see them again, and he will say, ah, let me take some more cash and go and enjoy. The devil will come again. The thoughts will come again, but you need to resist it. Mm. That thing that has become an attitude, oh, yeah. that thing that has become a part of you, take hold of the second chance and resist the enemy. Resist the Verse enemy. 8. Come near to God. Come near to God. And he will come near to you. Yeah. Wash your hands. You sinners. Beautify your heart. You hypocrites. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. There's another thing you have to do when you are enjoying the second chance. I want to know. You have to choose your friends. Mm. Don't let your friends choose you. Mm. You have to choose your friends. Have to choose your friend. Psalm 1 verse 1. Psalm 1 verse 1. You have to choose your friend. Mm. You see, the body got someone and enjoy life with his friends. Bad company. Bad company. Psalm 1 verse 1. Happy are those who reject the advice of evil people, who do not follow the example of sinners, or join those who have no use of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Mm. You cannot be enjoying a second chance and still have friends that go to the club. Mm. 
Mm. And still have friends that are womanizers. Mm. And still have mm. friends that don't know God. Mm. Still have friends that are in the world. Mm. They will take you away. They will intoxicate your mind. I hear you. They will intoxicate your mind. They will intoxicate your mind. Choose your friends. Don't let them choose you. Mm. One and join a second chance. That is your last chance. Second chance. That is your last chance. Another chance. That that is. Let me just another. Somebody will say another, another, another. Yes, another. 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 Sing for me. Yes, another. Another, another, chance. another chance. Another chance. So, so you can't get somebody to say that there is another chance. There will always be another chance. There will always be another chance. But for me, I'll peg it at the second chance. The second chance. Because you don't know when another, another, another will be coming. You might not have all the life for another, 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 another. Like people say, tomorrow come, tomorrow come, tomorrow come. You keep on procrastinating. Procrastination will kill you. You have to take the bold step now. If you are following Christ, you need to, to, to take the bold step right now and follow Christ. Don't think about another chance. So your friends, you have to choose them well. Choose your friends well. Don't allow those evil friends to bring you back into the world again. You have to, because you are now a new person. Christ has come to, to be crucified for you. And, and you are taking, taking, taking opportunity. The opportunity has been given up to you. The new life has been given up to you. The new life has been given up to you. So, so you need to leave it. You need to be in your life. You need to be in your life. You need to be in your life. Corinthians 5 and 17, to believe that the past is gone. And it says that, and if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are gone. All behold, all things have become new. If any man be in Christ. So, so, so at first you were not in Christ. You were lost in the wilderness. You were far away. You have done a lot of wicked things to people. Mm. You have betrayed your family. You have betrayed your friends. You have betrayed your pastors. You have betrayed your parents. You have betrayed your sisters and your brothers. Mm. If 
if they were to describe you with a word, they'll say you are you are called wicked. You are called wicked. But now the second chance, another chance has been given to you to make it right. And you are now in that position to enjoy that another chance. You need to wipe it all from your mind. Because Christ will forgive you all your past. He will forgive you all your past. Before all things have become new. You need to live a new life. You need to new and live a new life. You need to live a new life. You need to live a new life. Second Corinthians 5 17. Now, anyone who is joined to Christ is a new being. The old is gone, the new has come. Amen. Amen. The old is gone and the new has come. come. Hallelujah. Amen. You must also humble yourself. You must also humble yourself. Today, there is no humility in the church. You have been given another chance, and because of that, ah, you are on top of the world. Because of that, ah, you are the biggest person in the family. Because of that, no one can come close to you. Because of that, you, you, you feel more important. You feel more important because you have been given another chance. You refuse to humble yourself. If you humble yourself, God will lift you up. You must have a humble spirit when enjoying a second chance. When enjoying a second chance, you must humble yourself. Matthew 11, verse 29. Uh, 1 Peter 5, verse 6. Read on for me the 1 Peter 5 and 6. Matthew. 1 Peter 5, 6. 1 Peter 5, 6. You must humble yourself. You must humble yourself. First Peter 5, verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 6, sorry. Verse 6. Humble yourself. Then under the God's mighty hand, so that he will lift you up in his own good time. Mm. Verse 7. Leave all your worries with him because he cares for you. Amen. Leave all your, your worries with him. With him. Because he cares, he for, cares him. for him. So humble yourself before the Lord. And under his hand, his mighty hand, so that he will lift you up. Hallelujah. Cast your bedding unto Jesus. Oh, cast your bedding unto Jesus. For he cares for you. So, 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 in Matthew eleven twenty nine, it talks about you, 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 you. Anyone that that is that is that is suffering and is heavily laden, said, "Come and I'll give you rest." Matthew eleven twenty one. And lean of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew eleven verse twenty nine. Take my yoke and put it on on you, and learn from me, because I am gentle and humble in spirit, and you will find rest. Verse, verse 30, for the yoke I will give you is easy, and the load I will put on you is light. It's light. Amen. It's light. So you see, when you humble yourself, when you humble yourself and join a second life, when you humble yourself, God takes away your yoke. God takes away your burden. Mm. The things that were the burden, the things you were carrying from the past, mm. God takes it away yes. because you humble yourself. Mm. God will lift it away because you humble yourself. Mm. The body God sent came with a humble spirit. Mm. He came and he said, Father, consider me not as a son, mm. but as one of your servants. Mm. He came with a humble spirit. Yes. Some children would have come. Yes, Father, I'm come. I'm, I'm, I'm here, man. Yeah. From the, wow. maybe he went outside and he tried. He said, "I'm here, man. Where, where, is, where is my 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 property? Where is my 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 my, my room? Where is my everything? I, I want the the fathers of it all. He would have come dragging. He would have come 
his own father's household, he would have come. He would have come as a boss, his own father's house. But he said, Father, consider me. Consider me as one of your servants. As one of your servants. Humble spirit. Humble spirit. Oh, the last point, the last thing you need to do. I'll talk briefly, then we'll zoom into a moment of prayer. The last point, the last thing you need to do is to pray not to be tempted. And pray not to be tempted. Pray, pray not to be tempted. Second Chronicles 10 13. Pray not to be tempted because temptation will come again. Second Corinthians 10 13. Corinthians 10 13. Pray not to be tempted because temptations will come again. He said, You have not been tempted beyond what you are capable to carry. Second Corinthians 10 verse 13. As for us, however, our boasting will not go beyond certain limits. It will stay within the limit of the way which God has set for us. And he includes all our work among you. Amen. Amen. I need a King James Version. Mm. I need a King James Version. But we will not boast of things without our measure. But according to the measure of the rule which God has distributed to us, a measure to which even unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay, it's his first Corinthians 10 13, and I read. It says they have not or they have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. That you may be able to bear it. He said, with the temptation. So the temptation will come all right. But God would, 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 would not allow a temptation that, 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 would, that would take him all. But he will provide a way of escape. So when enjoying a second chance, you must always pray not to be tempted. You must always pray not to be tempted beyond measure. Because when you are tempted beyond measure, there is a likelihood that you go off. You go off. You go off the second chance. You go off another chance. You go off another chance. Tonight I'm here to tell you that no matter how far you may you may have gone, no matter the bad things you might have done, no matter the position right now, okay. there is a second chance for you right now. Amen. There is another chance for you right now. Amen. And that chance you must take hold of it. Amen. That chance you, have, you must take hold of it. Amen. You must make use of it. Amen. Because the another chance given unto you, the another chance given unto you, the another chance given unto you is supposed to keep you on track. Amen. It's supposed to keep you on track. Amen. It's supposed to make you understand the will of God. Amen. It's supposed to make you to follow the will of God. Tonight, I pray the second time. I pray another chance that another chance will not pass you by. That another chance will not pass you by. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If Peter can be considered, if Paul can be considered, if Peter can be considered, what about you? If you are considered, you can also be considered. If you are considered tonight. Your chance is here. Amen. Tonight, your second chance is here. Amen. Forget about the past. Forget about the things you have done. Forget about the past you might have taken. Tonight, 
There is a second chance for you. Amen. There's a second chance for you. Amen. There's a second chance for you. Amen. So now you are singing a song that I have decided to follow Jesus. Amen. That you will not turn back again. Amen. That you can you are, you are, you are thinking. You will not turn back again. Christ is already expecting you. I said already that your act, your act is so more important to him. He is expectant of you. He wants you to act it. He wants you to act it well. So tonight, I pray that may you end it well. I pray that you not miss the second chance. I pray that I'm not a chance giver. You make it right. You make it right. In Jesus' name. Amen. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Oh, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to so we're going to enter the moment of prayer right now a moment of prayer i have a few minutes to end the service a moment of prayer. Say with me, my father, my father. My father, my father. Tonight, tonight, I have for another chance. 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 Lord Jesus, I have brought so far away. I have brought it to the wilderness. I have committed a lot of wrong. A lot of atrocity. I have hurt a lot of people. Lord Jesus, like a second chance. Give it up to me right now. May it not pass me by. May it not pass me by. In the name of Jesus, somebody begin to pray.
There was a grace speaking for him. There was a grace that made him take a U-turn. All right. Take a U-turn. Okay. After, after, after sleeping with, mm. with, with, with his seventh wife. Mm. And killing the husband. Mm. He has gone far away from God. Mm. But a grace spoke for him. This evening, I pray that let that grace speak for you. Amen. That you will overcome sin. The sin that has taken hold of your life. Oh, Jesus. The second chance is here. Oh, Another chance is here. Yes, the grace is here yes, to make it right. Amen. Say, my God, my God, I pray this morning. I pray this morning. Let your grace shine upon my life. Let your grace speak for my life. Let your grace go before me. In the name of Jesus, now overcome sin. That of the of the the back of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, pray for the grace right now. Pray for the grace. Pray for the grace. Let us 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 pray for the Sin is so strong that so strong, so strong that they find it difficult to overcome. Some of it is, is, is like attitude now. It has become part of the person. It has become a habit. It has become a behavioral pattern. Tonight we are praying that we break the bond of sin. Break it. That we break the band of sin. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, I break every band of sin. I break every band of sin upon my life, upon my life, upon my destiny, upon my destiny, upon my household. Upon my household. Listen to this. Jesus. Lamentation five seven. It says, it says that for 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 we have for 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 for, for our fathers have sinned, and we have borne the punishment. Mm-hmm. Some people, because of the ancient sin that has been committed by their forefathers, it, it, it has it has married them. That, that spirit has taken hold of them. So you could see that that pattern of behavior, that behavioral pattern is in the family. So they find it difficult taking hold of a second chance. They even if 
there is a second chance. We are unable to enjoy it because because their case conscience has been has been has been has been cut off. Oh my God. Tonight we are praying and we are breaking that pattern of sin. Okay. That pattern of sin that will not allow you to take the opportunity presented by virtue of another chance, by virtue of the death of Christ, by virtue of Christ calling unto you, by virtue of Christ knocking your door. Tonight we are breaking it. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Tonight, tonight, Whatever we are praying for the salvation of our soul oh, our salvation salvation is of much importance in everything that you do if you don't have salvation if you are not saved it is in vain it is vanity that is why the bible says that how would a man gain all the things in the world Mm -hmm. uh, loses his soul. He can gain everything in the world, but if you lose your soul, it is more dangerous. Your salvation is more, more important to God. Tonight we are praying for salvation. Okay. The power of salvation. Mm -hmm. The power of salvation mm -hmm. to fall upon our life. To fall upon our life. To fall upon our life. You see that power of salvation that fell upon Saul. It fell upon him. The, 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 the power arrested him. Believe it is by force. It is by force. Let it arrest you. Wherever you are, under the authority of my voice, I command the power of God to arrest you for him. The spirit of God to arrest you from him. When you are going the wrong way, may the spirit of God cause you to do it. And you can. And you can. And you can. With maximum speed. Amen. To Christ. Amen. Into the will of God. Amen. <laughs> Satan directs your attention from God. Direct your attention from the will of God. He has finished you. Because you will go, 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 and you go and crash. Yes. The wrong path. You go home and go and crash. But when you are on the wheel of God, He has prepared the way. He has prepared the way. He is the God that knows tomorrow away from yesterday. Ha! He is the God that blesses a man by not looking at the, the physical state, but looking at your mind. He is the God that did not look at the physicality of David. What Jesus was looking at the, the physical nature of his son. Mm. God said, I am interested in the heart. Mm -hmm. I am interested in seeing what is within. Okay. Tonight we are praying mm. that God will save us mm. not by our physical things, mm. not by the things we have done, mm. but because of our heart. Mm. Mm. 
and bring us to the right path. The right path that promises future and hope. The right path that promises a crown of glory. Not the path that promises death. Not a path that promises destruction. Not a path that promises a bad news. No. The right path. Okay. The right path. See, yeah. what yeah. it is it's so interesting. Once it turns divert your attention, eh? see somebody suffering from headache and they have given the person translicate. <coughs> it is an arrow. They are suffering from headache, but they have given you translicate mm. because the attention has been diverted. Okay. Mm. You must be giving paracetamol. To know the paracetamol I'm giving you is Jesus Christ. Amen. It's Jesus Christ. Amen. Accept it. And okay. receive healing in your spirit. Amen. Accept it. And receive healing in your soul. To know the second chance is here. To know another chance is here. To make the right decision. Let's forget about the past. The past tonight, there is another chance for you. For your salvation. Let's begin to pray for salvation right now. For salvation, wherever you are, we seek salvation. We seek salvation. We seek salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the God of salvation. May you save us. 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 May you I want us to thank God right now for another chance given unto us. Despite how far we have gone, for another chance given unto us. I want to thank God for God. He's still fixing his eyes on us. Even though we are seeing it. See, the Bible says in the book of Romans, it says that very scarcely could, could someone die for a righteous person. But for we see this, Christ died. He came and he was crucified for us. He came, he was crucified for us. Mm. There is another chance. Mm. There is another chance for us. Because of his love. God is love. He is calling you for the second chance. He is calling for another chance. Mm. Right now, mm. let's begin to thank him. Let's begin to thank him. Let's begin to thank him for the second chance. Let's begin to thank him for another chance. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Now we shall receive the second chance. We thank you, Lord. Now we shall not the second chance. We shall not end the second chance. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. For your mercy. We thank you, Lord. That we were once lost, but you are now found. That we are now God. That we are now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So I want to spend time to a moment of worship. A moment of worship right now. A moment of worship right now. For your life, oh God. You are the grace and mercy that are given unto you. Open your mouth and thank the Lord of God. Tell him that you Somebody begins to worship the Lord. Give him all the glory. Give him all the adoration. Jesus. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Oh, <laughs> 
leaders and uh, I want to quickly just introduce them. Um, I have a prophet here and I want him to say, just give greetings unto, unto you out there. Um, I, as you can see uh, on the background, his name is Prophet Harry Ayete and uh, a good friend, a very good friend in the vineyard and uh, he's a father too, a spiritual leader because uh, he's older than me in the realm of the spirit and uh, he's a very good brother and uh, I'm, I'm so 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 much uh, honored for his presence and I want him to 
just uh, greet uh, the audience. Uh, I have a couple of people here, two of them, which I will introduce again. Um, so, uh, Prophet, the floor is yours. All right. Oh, God bless you all. Uh, today is my first day of doing this line, and I'm so much in place. I'm very much happy to join this line. And I pray that may the, may the Lord strengthen us more to do his work. And I'm very grateful for this day. Uh, I pray that the next meeting day I'll join again. The next meeting I'll join again. And I thank all the organizers. Uh, with the name of the uh, Reverend Dr. Sabafia, God bless you for this organization. God bless you for the network. We pray that this network will go far. We pray that this network can draw a lot of souls to God. And may the Lord strengthen you all for journey this line this evening. We are grateful and we thank God that it is successful. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Before I give my closing prayer, I have here seven new. It's a very, very, very humble servant. Very, very humble. And uh, we are proud of him. He is already, he's ready to serve, serve in the kingdom. We are proud of him. So, you thank you for availing yourself. And our sister, who, who ministered for us, Minister Florence, uh, Minister Florence, Minister with some sweet voice. Another time, uh, I would, I would uh, ask Reverend Doctor to put it on program so that he can minister. So, that's that's right, that's to right. us. thank you so much for coming to uh, Shall We Pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity that as we sinners have come together once again to fellowship, to fellowship unto you, to receive the grace, to receive the word from you. But I, I believe that this word that we have received today will take us far. I believe that this word we receive today will change things in our life. I believe that this word will cause somebody to, 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 to do a new turn, to turn away from the wrong path to the will of God. Father, we thank you for another chance you've given unto us. But I let the chance last, let the chance go into the future that we will receive the grace that comes with it, that we will receive the benefit that comes with it. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray and let all the saints say, Amen. 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 So over to you, Reverend Dr. Sebeth here. I will uh, come, come to the end of my, 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 my service. Wow, hallelujah. in your heart to stop doing what is wrong. You are already on a path that you know leading you to start. The Bible says many are the ways that seem as right. A lot of us we are doing things and, and, and we deceive ourselves that it makes me happy. You are wrong. Anything you do that makes only you happy without you considering those around you, you are a witch. May the Lord give you another chance, even as you will decide to turn from your wicked ways. Amen. In fact, tonight was so powerful. Amen. I don't know about you. The network of David Vachale, the message came yesterday. Okay, two, yeah, yesterday, or two days ago in Ghana. Or other, the first day, Master Richmond was, I was talking about the network. He said, yes, the network will worry, but the message will go. And in fact, it came to pass. Then the network was worrying, but he did just more than wonderful. And we thank God so much for his life. 
of course, we have just we have just gotten into partnership. We'll be bringing him again. It was so wonderful, and I thank God so much for his team. Wow, this is this is ministry. It's beautiful. You know, uh, this is this is the first of its kind on this platform, and we thank God for his life and his team. We pray that the Lord will increase them and you know make them great. In Jesus' name, Amen. We have one one sister. Oh, they are supposed to, but I just want to appreciate her. Alfredina, you know, she's a student, right? And uh, the time doesn't favor those of us here because you're seven or three here. But ever since we started this revival from June last year, she's always here. I want to appreciate her and thank God for her life, that the Lord will always be here at the point of the she, she, She's a student, but I Fine. Some of us, we are watchmen, we don't say, but she would always be awake just to make sure she joined the program. It is a wonderful sacrifice. God bless you so much, Alfredina. And God bless all of you also who always make it a part of this meeting. You are not wasting your time. If only you would be watchful, you would know that God is doing something great in your lives. Amen. We will take Amen. your announcement quickly. We have uh, some upcoming programs. Usually, I, I, I announce the, the, the next revival the last day, but today I'll announce. And then, uh, first of all, I want to talk about our upcoming program, which is the Marriage and Prayers Conference. Marriage and Prayers Conference. My marriage shall flourish. <clears throat> you don't want to take this lightly. Uh, that is starting from the 9th to the 11th of 2021. A lot of people have issues with their marriages. Some are single. They don't know why. They, 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 to them, they feel they are of age, but the man is not coming. The woman is not coming. This is a program designed by God. You don't want to miss it. It is not free because the token you are going to pay just 30 cities anyway. You are paying that, and it is a sacrificial commitment. You are not giving it. You can't pay at 30 cities. You can't pay it. Can ever. So it's your own commitment. So just spare yourself 30 days and save your marriage or, you know, so into your marriage. We have great men of God that will be us. We have Pastor Kobe, but he's going to take the first day, which is going to be announced in the seminar for all. And then the second day, I'll take the talk. That is going to be a very wonderful day as you don't want to miss. The last day, our own brother, Prophet Levit, then he's going to take us through a prophetic. So you don't want to miss that program 9th to 11th May. Those of you who have not registered, you should call the numbers and do that. And also, God willing, next month, we are having a revival again. And the, the flyer is on the screen I'm about sharing. Yeah, so by the grace of God, we'll be looking at divine elevation. Divine elevation, Psalm 75, 7. And we have wonderful men of God that are going to be here. Two of them, you know, came in the past. We have uh, Prophet Sylvester. We have Prophet Emmanuel. I think Prophet Emmanuel came last month, right? Like, yes. And also we have one uh, man of God, Dr. George. He was here in China. He is a wonderful man. You know? And we have our brother, who our name is Emmanuel. He's a minister. He's going to sing. It's going to be wonderful. May is also already tied. And you want to be praying into it. And also share the fires and invite your friends even ahead of time. Amen. Okay, so lastly, today is the last day. Okay, I am 30th. Okay, tomorrow, you people, right? <laughs> 30th is the last day of the program. So uh, it's going to be, as usual, from 9 p.m. to 12 o'clock, to 9 to cross into the next one. So if you want to come early, 9 p.m., you want to come early, come let's pray, come let's worship, come let's listen to the word of God and prepare ourselves for the next one. Amen. All right, so before we take the benediction, does anyone have any word or message? Do you want to give a testimony or do you want to, anything you want to say? You have 30 seconds to do that. All right. I think nobody has seen it. 
carry within the manifestation. May the Lord of peace and the Lord of vengeance remember you even as you go through the rest of the month and the year. May the Lord be a strong pillar around you. Wherever you step your feet, you shall be protected. Wherever you go, you shall be provided for. No evil shall be for you because you are the apple of God's own eye. May the Lord be with you even now and all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen to you, will respond, my people. All right. Amen. So, Amen. Good night. God be with you and see you today. I see you tomorrow, 9 p.m. Okay.